I love to gargle. My name is Professor Teddy Sheringham, and I'm a professor of history at Oxford University. And today I want to tell you a story about one of my heroes, James Chalmers. He was a working class Scottish fellow. As I'm sure you are aware, I'm very, very, very aristocratic. But this man from Scotland was somebody who loved fighting. He would love to go to public houses and have a good punch up. Often he would say, did you spill my paint, Jimmy? He was that kind of working class Scottish fellow. But one day he heard a story from missionaries who had been in Fiji about cannibals. And he was so fascinated, intrigued, that he made an inner vow that he himself would work with the cannibal. He became a Christian when he was about 20. And he and his wife, Jane, they went to Papua New Guinea, which is the second largest island in the world. There, there are saltwater crocodiles and mountains and forests. And there were the most ferocious cannibals. And they were extremely violent. They worshipped these idols. And they thought nothing of going snacking on people and eating human flesh. The whole of Papua New Guinea was engulfed with the most violent and horrendous cannibalism. These cannibals were everywhere, they were ubiquitous. And they were so vile and so violent that sometimes they would capture their enemies in battle and they would put them into a living larder where for up to six days or even a week they would come in and cut off the flesh of these living pieces of meat and eat them in front of their victims, laughing and sneering at them. As a historian, I can tell you that the theory that they ate people to, as it were, absorb their manner or their prowess, their fighting virility, is absolute bunk. It was vengeance, it was hatred, and it was just good old-fashioned greed, guzzling food that you love so much, which they thought was like pork, and also they were addicted to vengeance and hatred and murder. It was a culture where loving your enemies was completely unfashionable. And so Chalmers began preaching and teaching about the kingdom of God. His favorite sermon was always, Come to the living water, a famous sermon based upon Revelation 22. And they came in droves. They came down from their treetops. They stopped living in their houses on stilts. And they came to church where they began to eat Jesus and not eat each other. The message of Chalmers was plain and simple. Love your enemies, don't eat them. Did you know that some cannibals believe that the flesh of Japanese people is far superior to the flesh of white people like myself. And indeed, we apparently are far too salty for the cannibal. Chalmers, how did he come to an end? Well, he went to the most savage part of Papua New Guinea, the Fly River area. He turned his back on a group of cannibals. They clubbed him, they beheaded him, and that very evening they ate him with sago or sago in a celebratory feast of frenzied cannibalism. This was the end of James Chalmers. But the story of his life and the story of him bringing the gospel to cannibalism went all over Europe. I commend to you the life of James Chalmers, one of the greatest missionaries ever to have lived.